Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at two modules. One is the Arduino Uno and the other is the Raspberry Pi. And we're going to be doing some pretty cool things with these two boards. One is we're going to be sending information from the Arduino to the Raspberry Pi and then we're going to have the Raspberry Pi do something with that information. And we're going to use an application called Node-RED that's already installed on the Raspberry Pi to do this. So let's get started. The first thing we can do is go to the Arduino IDE and make sure you have your Arduino plugged in. So right now I have this sketch that I already made. And let me just go through the code real quick. So we want to start our serial at a baud rate of 9,600, and we're gonna match that up with the node red software. And then in our void loop, we want an integer data, and we're gonna pick a random number between zero and 1,000. And we're gonna print that along with data equals that, and then we'll have the data. Make sure you put this print ln, or else it won't send to the Raspberry Pi. And then we're also gonna add a delay at the end. So what this essentially does is prints random numbers every 2.5 seconds. And that's gonna allow us to uh, simulate our data entering the Raspberry Pi. Okay, make sure to compile this code and then upload it to the Arduino and then you can unplug it and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Now, when picking the USB port, make sure that you use the same one every time. It makes things easier and uh, less confusing for the Raspberry Pi. So just do that. So we're going to exit out of here. We're gonna to go to our regular Google Chrome browser or any browser really and make sure first you have node red started up on your raspberry pi and you could do that by going to the pi symbol in the top left going to programming and then node red and you should click it and this terminal application should pop up and what you want to look for is this uh, line that says once node red has started point a browser at at HTTP and then it gives you the address. So we're gonna go to that address. So let's do HTTP colon slash slash 10.0.0.15 and then colon 1880. And this may be different for your Raspberry Pi. And you can see we get our Node-RED interface. So right now I have a couple of things that I'll just delete for now and make sure you have your Arduino plugged in. So I'm gonna grab this serial in um, box thing, it's under network. And what I'm gonna do is click it and I'm gonna have to select a port. And right now I already have a port selected but you would probably go to add new serial port and then this edit sign. And then you wanna pick a baud rate of 9,600. And then you want to search for a port. And you'll get the available ports here. So since, and you may have multiple because you may have a mouse and keyboard plugged in, but just test out all of them and see if you're getting a response. If you're not, then just switch your port. So I already did that, so I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna select the um, Arduino port. Now I have this Arduino here that's connected and this is my port for that and I gave it a name as well. So I'm just gonna click done and then we're gonna grab this message.payload and you can find this, oh, it's under debug and then you get dot message payload. So I'm gonna delete that one. And we're going to connect these like that. No programming necessary. We're gonna to go to this debug symbol and we'll do current flow. And then we're going to deploy this. Successfully deployed it says. And see here, we're getting our data 
and it's printing out random numbers between 0 and 1000, and that's exactly what we wanted. So we successively communicated between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. And this may be random data now, but we could use sensor data, and that could be useful in a bunch of IoT projects. And I'm gonna do a few of those as soon as I figure out what I'm gonna do, because there's a lot. But I'm gonna pick a interesting one, hopefully.